Right now at 6, safer rides. La Crosse's bus system is getting a new system to help people who use wheelchairs to get around. And the biennial budget moves one step closer to Governor Evers' desk. Lawmakers are still disagreeing about how to reduce taxes for Wisconsinites. We're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. La Crosse's bus system is introducing a safer alternative for people with disabilities. News 8 Now's Michael Germain got a first-hand look at the new quantum system on buses and joins us live in studio to explain. Good evening, Michael. Can MTU launch the quantum mobility system today to help riders who use wheelchairs? Passengers park their wheelchair against a backrest, which starts an automatic locking system. The quantum arms secure the wheelchair in place and can be adjusted during the ride. Once the bus gets to a stop, the driver releases the passenger using a button on their dashboard. MTU officials say this system gives riders more flexibility than before. This is a new system, it's called Quantum, and it's, it's a safer system and more independence for the, the person in the wheelchair. Quantum is only on two buses. Today is the first day of a public test. The project was in development for a year, which is looking to add more systems within the next weeks. MTU hope to have the system in every bus within the next few months. Ken? All right, Michael. Thanks very much. Well, lately, Derek and Greg have been doing a great job holding down the weather department fort while we're a little understaffed. So to give them some relief these days, an old friend is graciously volunteering his time all the way from Denver, Colorado. It is Bill Grawl, and he joins us live. Bill, another warm summer day today, and the air quality maybe a little bit better today than it was yesterday. Yeah, definitely. You probably noticed that by a little bit more blue in the sky today, but there is still an alert through tomorrow. We'll discuss that in more detail uh, in main weather, but uh, still some high particulate uh, matter in the sky from those wildfires up in Canada and also uh, Ozone levels fairly high as well, but it was another warm day. Highs in the mid to upper 80s. Now, a live look through city cam shows uh, some high and mid-level clouds. We do have some storms just to our west that I've been tracking all afternoon on radar. We've got a weak boundary moving through, and that's the cause for these kind of hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. But if you find yourself underneath one, uh, could mean business for a short time uh, with some gusty winds upwards of 40 miles per hour, maybe some small hail as well. Watch for some lightning. The storm's a little bit more isolated uh, to the north, north and west of Eau Claire. Current temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, including 85 in Eau Claire, 86 in Winona, 88 in La Crosse, even a 91 in Boscobel. So again, that slight chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms through about midnight tonight. Otherwise, seasonably mild lows in La Crosse around 67 degrees. I'll have the rest of my eight day forecast that's coming up in just a few minutes. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Bill. A lacrosse man is facing charges of possession of child sexual assault materials along with possession of methamphetamine. According to a criminal complaint, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children sent police a tip about 34-year-old Parker Barnes. He was arrested on Tuesday by lacrosse police before his shift at the YMCA. According to the complaint, Barnes taught music lessons to children at the Wise Lacrosse branch. In an email obtained by News 8 Now, the YMCA stated a part-time employee was arrested on suspicion of having child sexual assault materials. In the email, Y officials said Barnes had passed background checks when he was hired last September. He is no longer employed at the Y. Barnes was in court yesterday and will be in court again next Wednesday. Now, according to online records, he is not in jail at this time. La Crosse police continue to investigate the car crash that happened yesterday on South Avenue, and they're asking for the public's help. Police are asking anyone who helped the officers at the scene to contact the police department at that number on your screen. Authorities say they will release more information about the crash when it's available. Today's Supreme Court decision regarding affirmative action on college campuses is reverberating through Washington as well as colleges and universities across the United States. Natalie Brand is at the Supreme Court with reaction. Demonstrators gathered outside the Supreme Court Thursday after justices ruled race-conscious admissions programs at Harvard and the University of North Carolina violate the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. I know today's court decision is a severe disappointment to so many people, including me, but we cannot let the decision be a permanent setback for the country. Activists who argued the university's affirmative action policies discriminated against white and Asian American applicants hailed the ruling as a victory. 
from today, all children will be judged by the content of their character and also by their merit, not by color of their skin. In her dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote the decision rolls back decades of precedent and momentous progress. As recently as 2016, the Supreme Court upheld using race as a factor in college admissions. Since then, the court's makeup has shifted sharply to the right with a 6-3 conservative majority. Writing for the court, Chief Justice John Roberts said universities can still consider an applicant's discussion of how race affected his or her life, be it through discrimination, inspiration, or otherwise. So we might see colleges and universities put more weight, for instance, on um, where did you grow up? Do your parents have graduate degrees? What zip code did you grow up in? Both UNC and Harvard said they will comply with the court's ruling, but are still committed to bringing together students with different life experiences. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court still has more big rulings to come this term, including President Biden's student loan forgiveness program to erase or reduce debt for tens of millions of Americans. The high court is also considering another case concerning whether a Colorado wedding website designer can deny services to same-sex couples. Back in the cross following the Supreme Court's decision, local universities have to think about their next steps. Neither Viterbo nor Western Technical College consider race as a factor for admission, so today's ruling does not affect them. And the UW system released a statement saying, quote, We are reviewing the decision to see what, if any, impact it may have on our universities. Like others across the country, we will assess next steps surrounding this issue and abide by the law. Universities have used affirmative action to increase their diversity on their campuses. States that ended it saw a steep drop in minority enrollment in their leading public universities. A poll from the Associated Press last month showed that 63% of U.S. adults said colleges should be allowed to consider race as part of the admissions process, but few think race should play a major role in those decisions. The next biennial state budget is one step closer to reaching Governor Tony Evers' desk. The GOP-controlled Budget Committee's draft made it through the Senate last night and is expected to pass the GOP Majority Assembly today. Republicans are celebrating the proposed income tax cut of $3.5 billion and the bipartisan deal to better fund local governments through shared revenue. One GOP senator says the proposed tax cut would bring relief to all filers and gets the state closer to a flat tax, which neighboring states like Illinois use. He says 2020 census data shows states with a flat tax convinced more people to move there. I think the message is loud and clear. Wisconsin wants to be competitive. We need to ensure that we have a more competitive tax climate. And so the tax cut that we proposed last night touches every single taxpayer in the state of Wisconsin. So we believe it's a, a step in the right direction. Now, Democrats argue the state isn't taking advantage of a record one-time $7 billion surplus and that to pay for the tax cut, projects like UWL's Prairie Springs Science Center, the Office of School Safety, and Child Care become budget casualties. Senator Brad Paff says his party agrees with the idea of a tax cut, but not this one. I do not understand why someone would want to pass a tax reform in the state of Wisconsin in which the top uh, one percent of the filers, tax filers, would receive 20 percent of the benefits. And once the GOP majority assembly passes the budget, Governor Evers will have about a week to approve, fully veto, or line item veto the state budget. Still ahead, extra help for training future health care officials. Viterbo University is getting funding for substance abuse education. And a grant from AARP will help La Crosse revitalize its downtown areas. If your kitchen is in need of a facelift, call the cabinet refacing experts at Mad City Kitchens. We are Wisconsin's number one ranked remodeler. We install in as little as two days. Plus, Mad City offers a price lock guarantee. With your free design consultation, we'll lock your price in and guarantee it for one year. And now's a great time to call during big deal days. Save $1,500 on a cabinet refacing project with zero down and zero interest till 2026. Senior and military discounts. Plus, call during this program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with in home estimate. And a bonus the first 50 homeowners who call now will receive a vacation voucher with purchase of a cabinet refacing project used for a condo, hotel stay, or a cruise. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, and Western Wisconsin, call 715-257-6651. That's 715-257-6651.
If you have moderate to severe Crohn's disease, SkyRizzy is the first and only IL-23 inhibitor that can deliver clinical remission and endoscopic improvement. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine or plan to. Liver problems may occur in Crohn's disease. Control of Crohn's means everything to me. Ask your gastroenterologist about SkyRizzy. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. Plains Farm and Fleet's 4th of July sale is going on now. We're saluting the red, white, and blue with unbeatable deals on everything you need to celebrate outdoors. Like these two-pound bags of Blaine's Freedom Gummy Bears, just $5.99. New at Blaine's, this special buy Duraflame Mini Fire Pit, only $39.99. And these folding camp chairs, just $11.99. Rewards members save an extra two bucks. Plus, this Friday through Sunday, we're thanking all healthcare workers and first responders with an extra 10% off their entire purchase at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Viterbo University has been awarded a grant to expand training for substance use disorder treatments. The $1.4 million grant will let Viterbo work with current health professionals to provide mental health and substance use disorder services in communities that are underserved. Viterbo plans on using the grant to primarily service rural areas in southwestern Wisconsin. School representatives say this is a huge step forward in helping the community. I mean, opioid addiction is such a huge concern for our community, and our goal is to really take a systems approach to equip people within our community to help solve those needs. Viterbo also plans on using the grant to train their own faculty so that instructors can include the training in their curriculum. The grant program is set to last for five years. The city of La Crosse is getting a little boost to clean up around town. La Crosse has been awarded a $20,000 grant from AARP as part of a nationwide program to make communities more livable. La Crosse was one of six projects awarded throughout the state of Wisconsin. The city of La Crosse Parks, Recreation and Forestry Department plans to use the funds to re revitalize portions of Cass Street from West Avenue to 3rd Street. A new bus shelter will also be built along Cass. After the break, breathing too much hazy air can affect your health. Health experts say it can cause damage in more areas than just your lungs. And I'm meteorologist Bill Grawl, watching some scattered showers and thunderstorms through parts of the area. I'll have the details of my eight day forecast up next. We wanted something that was easy to clean and also look good. All this brand new cabinetry and, and having it so nice and fresh is fabulous. From contemporary to classic designs, Mad City Kitchens offers exciting cabinet refacing product lines featuring styles and colors for every home. Plus added conveniences with soft closed doors and drawers, lazy Susans and a new kitchen sink. We install in as little as two days and ask about our price lock guarantee. Plus now during big deal days, save $1,500 on a cabinet refacing project with zero down and zero interest till 2026. Call during this program for a free $50 Amazon gift card with estimate. Plus the first 50 homeowners who call will receive a vacation voucher with a cabinet refacing purchase. From La Crosse, Eau Claire and Western Wisconsin, call 715-257-6651. That's 715-257-6651. Get over 50% off on this sofa chaise right now at the 4th of July blowout at Slumberland Furniture. Everything's on sale. Incredible deals. Up to 60% off list throughout the store and up to 70% off on clearance items. What a sale. The 4th of July blowout at Slumberland Furniture. Russell, what does this have to do with law? Absolutely nothing.
save on your next painting project with 11% off everything at Menards. DuraClean exterior paint will keep your home looking beautiful by providing a weather-resistant coating with crack and fade resistance. One gallon, just $29.98 after rebate. Choose Dutch Boy Max Bond Plus exterior paint for exceptional adhesion and one coat coverage. It's a paint and primer in one that resists dirt, mildew, and repels rain 90 minutes after application. Get one gallon for $44.49 after 11% rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're having a nice Thursday. Now, being Thursday, the latest drought monitor was released, and of course, that's a big story across the tri-state area uh, so far this summer. So let's take a look at the latest uh, readings. Moderate drought for most of the area, abnormally dry over north central Wisconsin, and that severe drought, that's a level three drought uh, in our southern and eastern counties, including uh, well, portions of Monroe, Vernon, Crawford, and Richland counties. So again, it's no secret that we could use some rainfall. Now, last night, some of you did see some beneficial rains, mainly far northern parts of the viewing area, from Dunn County through parts of Pepin, Eau Claire, Chippewa, northern Buffalo, Tremplo, and Jackson counties. Unfortunately, that came with that severe threat. Quarter to golf ball size hail was reported in northern Tremplo County around Pigeon Falls just before 1 o'clock early, early this morning. Now the good news, we are seeing some additional rain chances off to our west, but we're dry so far here in La Crosse. Toasty day, 89 was the high, 68 the low. Averages are 85 and 64. And a look, uh, look again, look at the rainfall. Two and a half inches below average for the month of June, uh, 2.37 below average for the year. 88 degrees in La Crosse with a mostly sunny sky. The Mississippi dropping 4.69 feet. 85 degrees for you folks in Eau Claire with a partly cloudy sky. Still an air quality alert extended through noon tomorrow. Again, high levels of ozone and particulates from wildfire smoke still in the air, but it wasn't quite as bad in terms of the visibility as what we saw yesterday. But just keep that in mind. Uh, maybe take it easy if you're uh, in that sensitive uh, group to uh, dirty air. Current temperatures in the 80s, uh, generally 88 in La Crosse, 85 in Eau Claire, 87 in Black River Falls and Sparta. Still 91 in Boscobel. Dew points generally upper 50s to mid 60s, so a little sticky for some of us if your dew points between about 61 and 65. A little bit of a breeze from the north and west, but those winds will crank up around these thunderstorms. A little batch over southeast of Minnesota, so this is good news. Uh, we need the rainfall. Bad news, of course, if you have outdoor plans, so maybe have that rain gear handy just in case and keep an eye to the sky because they uh, do contain some lightning. The storm's a little bit more isolated north and west of Eau Claire. That's ahead of a week cold front. That's the cause for this slight chance of showers and th uh, thunderstorms through about midnight tonight. So Sky Tracker shows those storms really weakening quickly as they run into some slightly drier air. But again, you saw them on radar, so we do have that chance for the next couple of hours. Uh, mainly dry tomorrow. The exception could be our southern communities tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. It's a very small chance for a few showers and thunderstorms. Very small chance on Saturday as well. Just a few spots of green there. Highs tomorrow very similar to today. Mid to upper 80s for most. Generally most spots between about 83 and 89 degrees. So that's very similar numbers uh, to what we saw across the region for our Thursday. So for tonight that slight chance of showers and thunderstorms for the next couple of hours to about midnight. 67 for the low. 89 tomorrow. Most spots stay dry. That slight chance of showers far south. Very small chance on Saturday as well. 87. Dry Sunday and Monday and pretty hot to start next week. 91 on Monday and for the 4th. Small chance for a storm on the 4th of July. Better chance Tuesday night into Wednesday of next week. So uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed all the way here from Colorado for a dry forecast for the 4th of July. And we appreciate it. Thanks, Bill. And as Bill mentioned, with the smoke and haze blanketing the region, unhealthy air quality now affecting about a third of the country. Local doctors say the smoke could be sticking around for the remainder of the summer. And while the hazy conditions may not seem like a threat, medical professionals are urging the public to stay cautious. Whether it's burning forests or burning fossil fuels, we know that the fine particles in this pollution is really damaging to health. It crosses the lungs into the bloodstream and can damage most parts of the body even crossing the placenta and damaging fetuses. Officials recommend keeping your windows and doors closed and running AC throughout the home. But if you need to go out, then doctors say to check the air quality index and wear a mask. With this hazy air, many are finding it difficult to go about their daily lives. Parks across the state have put their events on pause, and for mail carriers, they're feeling the heat. One leader of the branch for the National Association of Letter Carriers in Milwaukee says he's urging carriers to take breaks to rehydrate when they can. He also says he's worried for some of his carriers. I would be highly concerned for 
senior carriers, any carriers with any respiratory issues, anybody that has problems, you know, in the breathing department. Skrownik said that he's hopeful the smoke will clear soon, but says if it persists, it could present a long-term issue for carriers going forward. Coming up next in sports, the Brewers making a roster move before their series finale with the Mets tonight. Plus, a familiar face will be back in the NFL in a slightly different capacity once the season begins in the fall. Rob's got that story next. The Board Store, the best products, best prices, and best people for all home improvements. Contact us today for a prompt, free estimate. It's time for the Quick Trip Fireworks Spectacular, July 1st at the La Crosse Fairgrounds Speedway. It features late models, sportsmen, hornets, six shooters, the famous outhouse novelty race, and fireworks. Gates open at 5.30 with the first race at 7 this Saturday at the La Crosse Fairgrounds Speedway. If you're stuck between choosing to spend on a vacation or finally updating your kitchen, with Mad City Kitchens, you can do both. Our cabinet refacing services give your kitchen a brand new look in as little as two days with beautiful finishes, including white satin, oak gray, and summer flame. And with Mad City's price lock guarantee, we'll lock your price in for one year. But time's running out to call during big deal days. Save $1,500 on a cabinet refacing project with zero down and zero interest till 2026. Senior and military discounts. Last chance to call during this program for a free $50 Amazon gift card with estimate. And the first 50 homeowners who call and purchase a cabinet refacing project will receive a vacation voucher for a condo, hotel stay, or a cruise. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, and Western Wisconsin, call 715-257-6651. That's 715-257-6651. Are you ready for a red hot summer? At King Furniture, our prices are. Hot, hot, hot. Get your choice of these quality Jackson sets for $11.99. Need something more custom? Check out these five England sets for just $14.98. Available in your choice of over 100 fabrics. And in your home in just 30 days. Get your home ready for summer with thousands of items in stock and ready for free delivery. Get into King Furniture while the prices are. Hot, hot, hot. It's time for the Quick Trip Fireworks Spectacular, July 1st at the La Crosse Fairgrounds Speedway. It features late models, sportsmen, hornets, six shooters, the famous outhouse novelty race, and fireworks. Gates open at 5.30 with the first race at 7 this Saturday at the La Crosse Fairgrounds Speedway. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. Back in December of last year, 12-year pro J.J. Watt played his final game in the NFL, but now our viewers will get to see a lot more of the Wisconsin native when the season starts back up later this year. The Pewaukee grad and former Wisconsin Badger signing a multi-year deal to be an NFL studio analyst for CBS. Watt announcing the news on social media this morning saying he'll be joining CBS Sports to contribute across all their NFL shows and platforms. The 34-year-old defensive end played his final two seasons in Arizona after spending his first 10 years in the league with the Houston Texans. Watt was drafted 11th overall out of Wisconsin back in 2011. He totaled 114 and a half sacks in his career and he earned the Defensive Player of the Year award on three separate occasions, 2012, 2014, and 2015. Watt was selected as the Walter Payton Man of the Year back in 2017. Also had five first-team All-Pro honors during his time with the Texans. On the diamond tonight, Milwaukee looking for the series win over the Mets, but before that, the Brewers making a roster move earlier today, optioning Luis Arias to AAA Nashville, recalling Bryce Terang. It's been a struggle for Arias this season. Ever since returning from his hamstring injury, he's hit just 145 with one homer and five RBIs in 20 games. As for the team, the Brewers have a chance to pull into a tie with the Reds tonight for first place in the NL Central if they get a win over the Mets, but more importantly, if they get it done, yours truly will be forced to wear a Christian Yelich jersey on air tomorrow night. Pray for me, folks. Pray for me. On the hardwood, for the first time in franchise history, the Bucks will have a female coach on the bench. In her sixth season with the team, Sydney Dobner is getting a promotion. After working as head video coordinator this past season, Dobner will now be the first female assistant coach in Bucks history. Dobner got her start in the organization as a video assistant and coaching associate with the Wisconsin Herd back in 2018. And finally, the Loggers are back at the Lumber Yard tomorrow to begin a four-game homestand. But before that happens, Lacrosse looking to wrap up its road trip with a win tonight in St. Cloud. The Loggers began the trip with a win on Monday, 
against Waterloo, but since then they've lost two straight. Hopefully they get a win tonight. Congrats to Sidney Dobner, first time Absolutely. in franchise history. And I, I, if I'm not mistaken, Eric Spolstra from the Heat also started in the Heat's video department. Yeah. Pat Riley discovered him, yep. and Spolstra arguably one of the best coaches in the NBA. Absolutely. So that kind of progression, Sidney could be one of the best in the business Absolutely. in a couple of years. Yep. And, uh, you know, I'm feeling confident about, tonight. About, about this bet. Yeah. I'm not. I mean, I'm never confident, but For, now my back's against the wall. <laughs> Bryce Terang is back. Bryce Terang is back. Love that. Love getting the, the rookies in the lineup. And he, he found the power in AAA because, as we know, we, he was struggling a little yep. bit before he got sent down. But maybe a little reset uh, will have the offense for him because the glove was not an issue. Sure. I mean, he's an everyday defender, of course, but the bat needs to be there because yep. this lineup is its not ready for a postseason run. 29th overall. Yeah. Offensive. Not good. Almost dead last. I mean, we, didn't, we missed the perfect game last night. Yeah. 24 times in, in, in history. Crazy. And we it was were just <laughs> talking about it the night before of how many there were. Yep. Me, K, uh, Ken, and Cade were all talking about it. And, well, and you know, the next Lo night. and behold, yeah. yeah. Weird stuff. In front of a crowd of like 2,000 2, people in Oakland, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> Rob, exactly. thanks very much. You got it. We'll be right back after this. Get the day's news in your inbox. Email newsletters from News 8 Now. Sign up today. Go to news8000.com slash newsletters to get started. Lane's Farm and Fleet's 4th of July sale is going on now. We're saluting the red, white, and blue with unbeatable deals on everything you need to celebrate outdoors. Like 20-pound bags of lump charcoal or grilling pellets, buy one, get one half price. Assorted four packs of Sprecher Soda, two for seven bucks. And select pet treats, 20% off, all made in the USA. Plus, this Friday through Sunday, we're thanking all healthcare workers and first responders with an extra 10% off their entire purchase at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. It's the 4th of July sale at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota, with incredible values for every room in your home. Stunning sofas and sectionals, the latest bedrooms, exciting new dining rooms, and the best selection of leather around. Now's the time to take advantage of big savings on quality brands like Daniels Amish, Flex Steel, Smith Brothers, and Stressless. Plus, there's 48-month special financing and free gas just for shopping Drury's. More choices, better values. It's the 4th of July sale at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. If you have moderate to severe Crohn's disease, SkyRizzy is the first and only IL-23 inhibitor that can deliver clinical remission and endoscopic improvement. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine or plan to. Liver problems may occur in Crohn's disease. Control of Crohn's means everything to me. Ask your gastroenterologist about SkyRizzy. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. Again, still watching that slight chance for a few showers and thunderstorms this evening through about midnight. Otherwise, seasonably mild overnight lows in the 60s, including 67 in La Crosse. Small chance for a shower tomorrow afternoon, mainly south, 89. Small chance for a shower on Saturday, 87. Gets hot heading towards the holiday, 91 on Monday and also 91 for the 4th. Small chance for a storm, but a better chance Tuesday night. Thanks, Bill, and thanks for joining us tonight at 6. We'll see you at 10.